In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a chi-square two-way data table in Sigma Excel. The example I'm going through is taken from the Sigma Excel version 6.1 workbook. Now, the sample data I'm using is uh, called attribute data, and you can find it in the sample data folder, which is in your Sigma Excel installation directory. So go ahead and open uh, attribute data. Should be the first in the list. And make sure that the example one sheet is active. There's four sheets. This data is in two-way table format or pivot table format. And note the cells B2 to D4 have been pre-selected for you. Now, when you have the data open, click Sigma Excel, and then select Statistical Tools, and select Chi-Square Test Two-Way Data Table. And note that the selection of data includes the row and the column labels. Now click on Next, and you'll see that the chi-square two-way table statistics are produced. Since the p-value of 0.1 is greater than 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now click Example 2, the Example 2 sheet, and the yields have not changed, but we have doubled the sample size. Uh, now repeat the same analysis. Statistical tools, chi-square two-way data table, and Next. And since the p-value is less than 0.05, we now reject the null hypothesis, and we conclude that day shift and night shift are significantly different. Uh, the residuals tell us that the day shift failures are less than expected, and night shift failures are more than expected. Note, by doubling the sample size, we improve the power or the sensitivity of the test. Uh, now click on Sheet 3 of your workbook. Rather, click the, the Example 3 worksheet. And in this scenario, you see that we have three suppliers and an additional marginal level. A random sample of 100 units per supplier is tested. The null hypothesis here is that there is no relationship between suppliers and the pass-fail marginal rates. But in this case, we can state it as no difference across suppliers. Now, redo the above analysis once more. And you'll see that the following chi-square two-way data table statistics are produced. And the p-value tells us that we do not have enough evidence to show that there is a difference across the three suppliers. Now lastly, click on example 4. And here we have doubled the sample size to 200 per supplier. And thus we have improved the power or sensitivity of the test as in the earlier example. And note the percentages are ex identical to example 3. And lastly, we are going to re redo the analysis one more time. And you'll see that with a p-value of less than 0.05, we now conclude that there is a significant difference across suppliers. Examining the residuals tells us that supplier A has fewer failures than expected, and supplier C has more than expected. Supplier B has more marginal parts than expected, and supplier C has fewer marginal parts than expected.